Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to declare the new type of variable which is called structure and how to use them inside the program. So structures are a specific type of the variables which are which can be defined by the user. They have different fields of different types, let's say. To define a structure variable, you can right click on the application in the Add Objects menu, select the DUT, which is data, data Unit Type. And over there you can specify a name. Here I'm, I will write my struct as the name of the variable type that I'm going to use. And here the structure is selected by default. I'm going to use it as is and click on the Add. So here is the place in which I'm going to uh, I'm going to declare the variable, different parts of the structure. Then here you see the name of the structure. And then here in this part of the declaration, I'm going to, to put the, to determine actually the, the fields of the variable. Uh, I'm going to have this start and uh, reset variables inside this structure. And I'm going to also introduce a new integer variable, which, which I will use as the preset value of the counter or here inside the struct. So here I start typing. I will have one start of type boolean, which is uh, initially has the false value. I will have reset of type boolean with the initial value of false again. And I will have a counter preset value of type integer with an initial value of 3, let's say. All right, so this is my structure. Then I will go back to the PSC program. Here I will declare a new variable. Let's call it struct01 for now and its type is my struct and I don't initialize any any part of the structure actually here I don't need any more the start so I make it commented uh, reset I don't need motor and the others I, I still need yeah, motor timer and counter then here inside the main program when I want to determine the input to the timer, instead of start, uh, which is okay, just click on escape, twist escape, and here I'm going to use the struct 01, struct 01, dot start. It's the input variable to the timer. The preset time I don't touch it, motor will. I uh, struct struct zero one. The type is uh, so. This is strange because it, I already have declared it. So that's struct zero one. To make sure that they are exactly the same, I just copy and paste it here, and then that. Ah, okay, so maybe I had the typo. I select start field of it, and then in the counter for the preset value, I will use struct zero one dot. What was that counter? Okay, I will just paste, and then counter preset value. And for the reset, we'll use struct zero one dot dot reset. Ah, okay, so it is instead of declaring struct, I have declared strcut. All right, but in any way, it's only a name. You should be consistent in using the name all over the, the program. So here there will be 
Uh, all right, and here yeah, you, you see that there will be a conversion. That's why we have some kind of message or warning, but it's not a very serious one. There will be a conversion from signed int to unsigned type word. Okay, so for, for now, let's don't care about that. Then here in the visualization, so this uh, switch should be associated. Now, instead of directly the start that we had, we should look for the start inside the struct 01. So it's here. The motor will be associated with the motor and the reset push button. Now we'll change the value of the struct 01 reset. And yeah, I think that's all. Let's save log in and run the project again. Okay, it takes a while. And yeah, here it is. All right. And then my struct, I will place it here. Yeah, so we are in the run mode. I just turn on the switch. So here the the boolean variable start inside the struct zero one is changed from uh, uh, from false to true. Turn it turning it on again the motor will be turned on after one second and the and the current value of the uh, counter is also changing it's increasing so the preset value is three which comes from the struct as uh, pv struct zero one dot counter pv preset value if i change this to five it F7 and Alt F7, you, you can see that the preset value of the counter 0, 1 is changed as well. I can switch it to 10, maybe 10, F7, Alt F7, and yeah, you see that the, the preset value of the counter follows whatever I provide here with the struct 0, 1. And by resetting, the, the current value will become 0. All right, so that's all for, for this video. I hope now you have learned how to create the structure variable types. And you can do it by right-clicking here on the application and adding the, the, the DUT data, data unit type, giving a name to it, and then here inside the the new structure you need to determine the fields that you have inside that and then whenever you want to use that structure which is declared and you have initi initiated here as struct uh, 01 you can refer to the field by putting a dot inside you can have one structure inside another structure so it can be a uh, let's say more complicated one compared to this simple one but the main idea would be that the same Okay, so I, I hope you have enjoyed this and you have learned how to deal with the data type of structure. And I think it will be useful in future for you with, uh, when, whenever you want to do a project with the structured text language. Uh, that's all. Thank you for watching.